Cordless motherboards are here. Are they really worth it? And are they really cordless? Let's find out. What is BTF? You're probably wondering, what in the world does that mean? Well, it means back to the future. What they're doing now with these motherboards is they're actually routing the cables behind the motherboards. Everything from not only the 24 pin and eight pins, but also everything at the bottom from the USB headers, the pretty much power connection, the reset, everything you can think of is pretty much routed through the back of the motherboard. That's why you need a specific case as well for this to be working on, which we'll review later on in the video as well. But for the time being, let's go ahead and unpack this real quick. I have yet to see it myself as well, so I wanna take a look at it with you all and kinda of go over a few things. This is actually a really nice box actually. That's why it's called Project Zero, because there's zero cables. But yeah, really nice packaging though from MSI. They did a really good job uh, on this presentation. I do like it quite a bit. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna open up on your guys' side so you guys can see. Oh, never mind. Hi. Here's the motherboard here itself. Like I said, beautiful packaging from MSI. They did a really good job. I'll look at the accessories here in one second. Of course, we have an NC static bag, which we want to keep ourselves. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the front first so you guys can see what I meant by no cables. You can literally see that there's usually eight pins up here. 24 pins right here, and then you have SATA cables and like all the other accessories, the RGB headers, uh, the USB headers, USB 3.0 headers, and so on and so forth. Now, if I flip this, you're gonna see now everything's on the back. Uh, so that's why they're saying it's back to the future, um, hence the reasoning of futuristic. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice looking uh, motherboard itself. I do like the design. This is not like a, this is not an edge or a carbon. This is literally its standalone motherboard. It's called Project Zero. So Z790 Project Zero from MSI. And again, I really like do I do like the design quite a bit. It looks really nice with like a brushless um, aluminum type style uh, look on the actual header or on the North Bridge and South Bridge. Looks really good. But uh, like I said, cables all routed to the back. Remember when I said that you need specific cases for it to work with? Well, this is one of the cases. This is from MSI. As you can see, there's actually special cutouts here uh, for all the cables to be ran behind the motherboard itself. Um, if I flip this over real quick, actually, let me go ahead and turn this over. You can see the board, same thing. Pretty much everything's gonna be routed through the back of the case itself. So on the front, you're pretty much not gonna see any cables except for the GPU. If you have a GPU that requires a six pin, they also do have BTF GPUs, um, which actually connects to the motherboard itself. And now we actually have no eight pin connection or the new connection for the GPUs themselves. So literally there'll be no cables whatsoever uh, in the front. In today's video though, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be plugging in a regular GPU to show you guys how it looks. We do not have a BTF GPU uh, for this video, but it's still gonna look very good. And pretty much again, very, very minimal cables uh, as far as the front side of it. Um, it does come with the vertical mount as well, the case, uh, but we're not gonna be vertical mounting uh, in this build. So we'll show you how it looks pretty much as normal mounted itself. Now that we covered the motherboard and the case, now we're gonna go into action. Oh, actually we got a lead builder here, so he's gonna take over. You gonna help us build this thing? Mm -hmm. It looks good, man. So uh, how was your experience with the BTF setup? It's it's pretty cool. Uh, compared to like the normal ones, of course, I kind of have to see it backwards. Yeah. Uh, Cause like everything's like swapped if you look at it backwards. Cause it's, it's in the same positions if you're looking at it forwards, but it's like on the back now. And you've been building those for so long the other way. So it's kind of like- Yeah, it kind of confused me a little bit, but it's it's really, it came out really, really nice. I really like it. So anything more difficult or easier? What do you, what do you, what do you think? Cable management wise is probably the gonna be the biggest thing. Yeah. That came out a little bit easier, I think. Yeah. Um, but nothing too hard or anything. Okay. So I guess the the pro is to use pretty much just the simplicity behind the cable management or Yeah, that's it's gonna it, cable management is gonna be so much better now. So no cons? Uh no, not so far, no. Not so far. We actually I wanna show them real quick on the back side here. Oh, uh, my fingers. Yeah, real quick, I wanna show the back off real quick, uh the work that you did. Um, you can kind of see how all the cables are being routed through the back of the motherboard really nicely. Um, with this case, the good thing is there is a lot of room in the back. So it leaves that extra room for, for us to organize the cables uh, really nicely. So everything looks really good on this side. You did an amazing job as you always do, um, but it really makes it really nice as well on the back there um, since all the cables are pretty much routed to the back. A long time ago when we first started the company, there was, I don't know if you remember, we would kind of hide a lot of cables behind boards and stuff yeah. with this one. This one does it. 
for us. It does it for us, which is really nice. Um, so it's, simplicity is definitely there. So like you said, there's a lot of pros. I personally don't see too many cons with it, um, but it just makes everything look a whole lot nicer. Also, this is a full-size ATX. I have a micro ATX version as well. And I can't wait to see what they do with mini ATX build. This actually be kind of wild. All right, so yeah. So if you want a PC just like this, this is called actually Project Zero on our website. This is rocking a 99 k with an RTX 4080 Super Wide Edition from MSI. It looks really good. And a 150 watt power supply as well. So if you want something just like this, it's on our ready to ship page on powergpu.com. Get it today.